You guys are about to listen into an interview today with CEO Nish Sharma. Some new news that you guys can be updated with. It's very important for you guys to keep asking questions on how to move to Australia, whether it's an employee sponsorship, whether it's an international student. There are so many beautiful ways for you to learn about moving to this beautiful country. And we are so pleased to bring you our fabulous client and expert Nish Sharma at Professional Visa and Educational Services. This is a place where individuals can come in, families can come in and learn about the principles and the ideas, the updates, the news, and the questions that you have on how to move to this beautiful country. So we really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy. Hi all, this is Nish from Professional Visa and Education Services. I'm here yet again with the news updates in relation to immigration and visa matters. Today there has been a lot of announcement from the federal government in terms of budgets and all the changes that we can anticipate that's coming in our ways. Let me start this particular video in relation to the reduction of the work experience for employer sponsorship visa 482 subclass now with this particular visa up until now if you need to apply for the 482 visa you need to have a two years of work experience equivalent to full-time in last five years in your nominated occupation and obviously you have to check your nominated occupation in the skill occupation list and if that occupation is there then you need to have a two years experience in that nominated occupation before any employer can sponsor you now that is going to change from 23rd of november 2024 this year that will be reduced to 12 months which is one year Year. This is the fantastic news for people, especially those ones who's been resonating for a 407 training visa because they didn't have enough experience to apply for 482. Now is the opportunity to apply for 482 visa subclasses directly once you have a one year experience. Now, I would like to elaborate a little bit more on this because there has been a lot of general inquiries about how is things going to impact the people who has already applied for the visa or people already holding a 482 visa. Now again, those ones who's already applied for the visa, those ones who's already holding a 482 visa, these changes is not impacting you guys. This will be only impacting the people who will be applying for the visa after 23rd of November 2024. And that's usually the case with the law. It doesn't usually go retrospect. It will only move forward. Only it will be impacting all the new applicants as opposed to those ones who's already holding a 482 visa now. Having saying that, other requirements hasn't changed. There was some confusion about the required qualifications other requirements that is prescribed by the ANSCO like for example if you don't have the required qualification in your nominated occupation there are some occupation that you have to compensate your qualification with years of experience those part hasn't changed yet so if you have required qualification and if you've been assessed at the required level one year experience is enough for you to apply for 482 moving forward on 23rd of November 2024 and I think that's the fantastic news and this is the right time if you're thinking about applying for 482 and if you think that you will reach one year mark in your nominated occupation wherever you're working it's a good opportunity to start having that conversation with your employer about potentially applying for 482 visa it's just a reduction of the work experience we still have to meet the labor market testing until now market salary review genuine position position statement company profile financial viability all of these things are still in play it's just a reduction of the employment from two years to one year in order to apply for the 482. Now the 482 also have a labor agreement. Labor agreement works a little bit differently. That depends on the agreement the employer had with the government so that there might be various clauses in there which may even waive the work experience requirement. That is 482 labor agreement but I'm talking about a general 482 visa subclass which is more popular amongst many employer who is looking at it sponsoring the employees under 482 visa. It's a fantastic news that the experience has been now reduced to one year as opposed to two years which will be implemented after 23rd of november 2024 thank you for watching i'll be back again with more updates in relation to migration news or any legal news uh, that is more relevant to you guys in my next video but thanks for watching